Welcome to another wonderful episode of the Girl with Comic Con Tattoo. Today we are going to be doing a very special unboxing of the Funko Toucan, Comic Con Toucan that somebody sent me. More details on that in the video, but I wanted to apologize up front. I initially shot this on Monday, but I forgot to turn on the camera, or turn on the mic on my camera. Um, and so there was no audio <laughs> recorded with it, so I did have to voice audio over the top of it. So you're not getting the exact impressions I had, but I am still 100% giddy and happy that I have this figure and that somebody generously sent it to me. So please, um, <laughs> yeah, just, just take a look at this fabulous unboxing. So thank you for coming to this fabulous unboxing. This is me opening the box with my absolute favorite um, box opener that I long-term borrowed from an employer several years ago. I was really amazed because this came with the bag that you see here um, that's got the toucan on it, it says Comic-Con, and it's got the the logos on the back side, and then the figure, uh, I, I just, I still, I'm gushing. Um, I received this several days ago, and I'm still so utterly excited and happy. Um, so you can see him here. One of the cool things is that it did have the Comic-Con sticker and not the Summer Convention sticker um, that they, they put in um, when they sold them online. So this is like a you got it at Comic-Con. One of the things I've noticed in watching it again is that I think the back of the box, when you see it here in just a second, um, has the, the San Diego skyline, I think. I could be wrong on that. Um, I only ha own a handful of two, uh, two cans. I only own a handful of, um, of, Funko, so I've never really looked at the boxes super well, so I could be wrong. But one of the things that I, I also really love about this is he's got a little Comic-Con t-shirt on, and which I think is so adorable. And I don't buy a lot of Funkos because I don't feel like they look... Like, a lot of times the characters just look wrong when they're made into the Funko style. But I love the Toucan as a Funko because his eyes look are so right. For Funko, um, the way his eye is drawn and stuff, he just, he really, really works well, and he's so adorable. And I love that they sent him in a big, well, not a big, but they sent him in the plastic Funko boxes, which are meant to keep the box itself safe so that I don't have to take him out. And um, of the box, we're worried that the box is going to get crushed. Um, which is really great because I took one of my Hawkeyes out of the box and it got crushed. And he's just, overall, I'm just super excited. Um, he's gone up on the, the shelf in my bedroom next to my TV in my bedroom, so I can stare at him all the time and I can wake up and see his smiling face and, uh, look at him when I'm watching TV, which is just really weird, but <laughs> I'm still really amazed that they sent the bag and I said the toucan, I really, really did not expect that out of them. I didn't expect any of this, so it was really amazing that they got in contact with me and they said, hey, we want to send this to you. And they they said that <laughs> one of the things that I love is they said that somebody who does so much for Comic-Con deserves to have the, the mascot. And... That means a lot to me, because I have done this for 20, 26 years, and I don't do it expecting anything, but this was the one thing that I really wanted from Comic-Con um, this year, and I put my name in for every single slot and wasn't able to get it. I missed the chance to buy it online, which would have had the Summer Convention sticker on it, um, which, you know, would have been okay because I would have had him, that one for sure would have gone out of the box because I wouldn't have needed the box at that point. But um, it was just really, you know, I, I wasn't able to get it. So the fact that somebody did that for me is just truly amazing. And it made my con. This is why I go to cons. 
is because people do stuff like this, because people are so nice and so generous and so friendly. Um, and we're such a family. We're, we're all of the same tribe together. I am going to make an effort to reach out to people and try and make other people have better cons. It really, really does make such a difference in somebody's con. Even if you just say, you know, hey, you, you, you look hungry. Do you need an apple? Or do, you know, you know, here, let me stand up and you can, you can rest because seating is always limited and it's tiring. So it's really nice for people to, to be generous and to, to pay it forward. I really encourage you all to be the change that you want to see, go out to your local conventions and, and really, um, really go out there and pay it forward. Be, be friendly to somebody at a convention, um, help them out where you can and just, yeah, I don't have words. Thank you all so very, very much. Yep, that is definitely the San Diego skyline. I recognize those buildings. So that's my unboxing of the wonderful Comic-Con Toucan. I love it so so very much I can't even begin to describe how much I love it um, so please do pay it forward if you are at your local convention and you see somebody who's in distress you know just try and help them out you don't necessarily need to buy them you know an action figure or a toy or something just try and make them make their con as pleasant as yours is and just kind of spread the love and, and be nice to everybody. So thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, please, I do appreciate it if you like, subscribe, and share. I feel somewhat guilty asking you all to do that when I've been getting so much generous love with people sending me gifts and with this particular gift in general. So I do, um, but I do ask that you like and subscribe. Um, and you can find us, find me, I should say, on um, Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, um, all under Girl with the Comic Con Tattoo, except for um, Twitter. Twitter, I, I'm Comic Con Tattoo on Twitter. So um, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Have a great day.